The Effect of Sleep Duration on Migraineurs Migraine is a common neurologic disease affecting 36 million Americans. While there are various comorbid medical conditions associated with migraine, insomnia occurs in greater than one-half of all migraine patients. Furthermore, patients who have insomnia are thought to have more frequent and severe migraine symptoms than patients without insomnia, making it important to identify and treat these patients appropriately. The exact mechanism between sleep duration and migraine remains unclear. However, hypothalamic activation via the trigeminal vascular system seems to play an important role in both migraine and sleep regulation. This connection suggests that insomnia and sleep disturbance is not merely a symptom of comorbid depression and anxiety that is common to migraineurs, but an independent condition requiring treatment. Because migraineurs with insomnia are thought to have reduced clinical attacks when they routinely get more than six hours of sleep per day, clinicians should address sleep hygiene with their patients. When educating patients on the importance of sleep hygiene, attention should be given to the patient's sleep environment, including lighting, temperature, and time in bed, as well as lifestyle modifications that can improve sleep initiation, such as limiting fluids, caffeine, and meals prior to bedtime. In certain cases, patients may need a more comprehensive sleep intervention. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Insomnia, or CBTI, focuses not only on patient education, but also incorporates stimulus reduction and sleep restriction. CBTI has been studied as an option for migraine patients with poor sleep duration and is effective at reducing migraine attacks. In a recent randomized control trial by Smitherman and colleagues, migraine patients with insomnia who received CBTI were 60% less likely to experience a recurrent migraine within six weeks of treatment compared to the control group. In 2018, Smitherman and colleagues combined their recent work with Calhoun and Ford's 2007 study. The results of this secondary analysis showed that migraineurs receiving CBTI had six less headache days per month compared to control groups. While both studies were small, involving 31 and 74 patients respectively, they are highly suggestive of an effective behavioral intervention. Studies are limited regarding the efficacy of CBTI on migraine. However, CBTI is an easily accessible option that is proven to be effective through smartphone patient modules. There are relatively no adverse effects associated with CBTI, making it an important adjunct treatment option for many patients. While our current understanding of the sleep-migraine relationship is limited, clinicians should discuss sleep with patients. Sleep hygiene should be discussed with migraine patients and should be thoughtfully managed in patients reporting short sleep duration or insomnia. In certain cases, migraine patients may need additional interventions to improve their sleep, such as CBTI. Identifying sleep issues is critical to the migraine population due to the positive effects sleep has been shown to have on migraine symptoms and frequency. For more information on sleep hygiene, including recommendations from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine and the CBTI Coach app, please see the course resources at aan.com view neurobytes.